Good morning. Welcome to a Monday. Today is uh, 20th of September. Yesterday we missed one session because of a technical glitch, but we're going to make it up. So we're going to start off this morning by reading uh, the words for September 19th. Let's switch over right now. And here we go. There is a mighty battle going on for control of your mind. Heaven and earth intersect in your mind. The tux of both spears influence your thinking. I've created you with the capacity to experience foretastes of heaven. When you shut out the world and focus on my presence, you can enjoy sitting with me in heavenly realms. This is an incredible privilege reserved for precious ones who belong to me and seek my face. Your greatest strength is your desire to spend time communing with me as you concentrate on me. My spirit fills your mind with life and peace. The world exerts a downward pull on your thoughts. Media bombard you with greed, lust and cynicism. When you face these things, pray for protection and discernment. And stay in continual communication with me whenever you walk through the wastelands of this world. Refuse to worry because this form of worldliness will weigh you down and block awareness of my presence. Stay alert, recognizing the battle being waged against your mind. Look forward to an eternity of strife-free living reserved for you in heaven. <coughs> and God, <coughs> raise us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and death. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. Do not love the world or anything in the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 and 17. Wow, what a great piece of word this morning. And I'd like to invite all of you to join me for a very, very powerful worship. This song is called I Pray. <coughs> and I got a very dry throat this morning. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. 
知道我需要明了，你心意对我重要。祷告，一切装不了。祷告。Great piece of song, I pray, and that's the way to start off the Monday morning. And wow, Tabby is right to <laughs> play with me. <laughs> He's just running up and down across my table. And today we have a message for 20th of September. I'm excited to share with you this message as well. Let's switch over. Try to see things more and more from my perspective. Let the light of my presence so fully fill your mind that you view the world through me. When little things don't go as you had hoped, look to me lightheartedly and say, Oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this simple discipline can protect you from being burdened with an accumulation of petty cares and frustrations. If you practice this diligently, you will make a life-changing discovery. You realize that most of the things that worry you are not important. If you struck them off immediately and return your focus on me, to me, you walk through the, your days with lighter steps and a joyful heart. When serious problems come your way, you will have more reserves for dealing with them. You will not have squandered your energy on petty problems. You may even reach the point where you can agree with the Apostle Paul that all your troubles are light and momentary 
compared with the eternal glory being achieved by them. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Psalms chapter 36 verse 9. A man's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand his own way? Proverbs 20, 24. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 17 to 18. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this beautiful Monday morning that we kickstart the journey by singing praises of you and by reading your words. Thank you for helping us to understand these two words called, Oh Yes, that we can just drop off little things that kind of weigh us down as we build our reserves to handle the bigger challenges in life. Thank you, Lord, that I know you are working through this journey together with me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.